And we'll put the pedal down on part two of today's Local 6 Legal Line. And Williams, I told you to hang with me. We get to your question, and I'm a man of my word. He says, I would possibly like to think about bringing a suit against my doctor. It's been a few weeks since he messed up a diagnosis. How long is the statute of limitations on something like this? Uh, statute of limitations for most uh, medical malpractice cases is going to be one year from the date that you knew or should have known um, that the injury occurred. So there's a little bit of wiggle room with that, but don't delay because one year can go like that, especially when you're talking about any type of medical issues. Uh, so I would call an attorney to get that case analyzed as soon as possible. Because like I said, that one year, you think one year is a long time until all of a sudden it's been six months and then nine months and then you're out of luck. So. I have another question from Troy who says, I got hurt a long time ago at work, but work will not give me workers' compensation. I'm in a lot of pain visiting multiple doctors on a regular basis. What can I do? And I don't know if this is your focus or not, Terrace, but you probably know more about it than I do. So <laughs> We do have a fantastic workers' comp attorney at our office, Austin Kennedy. I would encourage you to give him or his assistant, Shauna, a call, and they can um, dive deep into that with you. I don't know what you mean by a long time ago. Um, it's possible that you still have a claim if you're hurt on the job. Um, Typically, regardless of what happened, there's a little bit of an exception there, but you um, can get compensated through workers' comp. Uh, if you're in a lot of pain, again, I keep visiting those doctors, keep that medical record up, and um, contact an attorney about that so they can assess your claim better than I can here today without more information. Question from another viewer says, I'm wondering if the Zantac case is still open. I think it is, but it's going to depend on your case specifically. So again, we've got statute of limitations issues. Um, call our office and ask to speak with one of our mass tort uh, specialists there and they can get, like, get some information from you to see whether you qualify or not. Uh, it's going to depend on, again, your statute of limitations. So give our office a call and we can talk to you about that. I have a question from another anonymous viewer who says, my daughter was injured in an automobile accident while on vacation. Are there any deadlines I need to meet as far as uh, an injury case goes? Statute of limitations, that's the big one. Um, I don't know if they were vacationing in Kentucky, then you have, for any car accidents, you have two years from the date of the accident or the last PIP payment. Uh, if it was out of state, you know, I can't tell you, I don't know what state you were in, but um, get to talk to an attorney so they can tell you what the statute of limitations is in that state. Again, document all your medicals, wage loss, all that stuff. And uh, that's really the main deadline you need to worry about is statute of limitations. In the last 45 seconds, time for one more question, and someone says, my uh, uh, insurance has made me a pretty decent offer for my case, and it doesn't say what type of case this is, but my husband thinks that my case is worth a lot more. Uh, insurance company says, that's their top offer. What should she do? What should she sign? Yeah, so it's hard, um, it's, I, hard's not the right word. It's impossible to assess your case based on just you saying that. Um, I, if you call any attorney and they say, oh yeah, you need to sign, or oh no, don't sign, I would be leery of that because I would need to know all the facts of your case, um, more about liability, more about your actual injuries, where you were, who you were with, like there's just so much that would go into being able to tell you whether that's a good settlement or not. Um, feel free to try to call us and we can try to help, but generally we just can't do that unless we've been involved from the beginning or unless you want us to get more deeper involved. The Honorable Tara Swanson of the Bryan Law Center from Paducah, Mayfield, and Louisville, our guest today on Local 6 Legal Line. And the focus we thought was going to be two-sided, two but it's been mainly on uh, personal injury. So if you'd like to review either one of these, good for you. We'll have them up very shortly. Look under the Legal Line icon, click on Bryan Law Center at WPSDLocal6.com. More to come on Midday.